If you've installed your server software, you will now need to connect your screens to it. This will allow you to control each screen independently and schedule content to it. In advance of this step, you will need to have set up your screen with the IP address of the server. You can find out how to do that by watching the video titled Setting up your display for the server. So let's begin. First, you need to log on to the server and select the Devices tab from the left-hand side of the screen. Before you approve the screen, you need to think about how the screens are going to be organized, so you can easily control a single device or lots of devices in one go. You do this by creating groups to put the screens into. Click on the group heading and hover over the default heading. You should see three dots in a line appear by the side of the heading. Click on this and select a new group. Type the name of the group into the open field. This should be something that describes the screens you will be putting them into, for instance, their location. You can then repeat the process for each group of screens you need. If you've set up the screen with the server IP address, then you should see the total number of screens to be approved next to the unapproved heading. Click on the title to proceed. This will show details of the unapproved devices, such as the device name, MAC address and IP address. To approve the device, select the tick box at the side of the device and select Approve from the menu just above. This will open a window where you can give the device a relevant name. This is also the place where you need to apply the group you created by clicking on the search option at the side of the device group field, then selecting the group and clicking Save. And finally, click the OK button. You should now see that the device has moved from the unapproved list into the normal devices and is now ready for you to schedule content to it. If you'd like me to continue producing these videos, please subscribe using the button below and hit the like button if you found this helpful. Thanks.